Okay, listen up. I'm going to just show you a couple of hints and tips and stuff on front page. Okay. They've given you the style sheet. Okay. You've gone file, file, new, and more page templates. And you click clicked on general and you go okay. And there it is. They want you to link the style sheet that they've given you to this web page. Remember it'll be in your folder on the desktop, so you go format, style sheet links, go and add and send it to style sheet one, you click OK and you go OK. There it is. So it's got a blue background and basically that's it. You haven't put anything in it. Then they want you to insert a table. You don't go to insert you go to table and there's the insert you click on insert go to table and send it to three columns uh, three rows three rows two columns can you see everything there specify width 100 percent do you see that so that it fills the whole window okay you can put your alignments cell paddings over here border sizes over here if they want a border color light border, dark border, collapse table border, you click there, whatever they want, background color, they want a background color and they give you the hexadecimal code, you click on any color and you put the background color in there. Okay, so something like that, okay, and you go okay. If they want a background picture, you click on there, you go browse, you go to your folder and you find out there's a background picture. You open, and you go OK. And there's your table. OK? I didn't click on, I didn't want the background picture to come in. OK? So they wouldn't do anything. I'm going to show you some stuff with the table. OK? You click in it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So there's a one table. They wanted you to merge the top thing, top row, right click, merge cells. And that's how you do it. They want you to put in another table. You go back to table. And you do what they tell you you must do. Okay. Two rows. Two columns. And you've got all the stuff again. And you do it. Okay. So you've done it. Okay. There's our other table. Let's put a gap between the tables. And there's that one. So now they wanted you to merge those two, you right click, merge, cells, and that's how you do it. Okay, so there we go. Then they say they want a bookmark at the top of the page on the left hand side. So you go insert and the bookmark's name must be called top. So it's bookmark, is top, and you go OK a little flag can you see that then somewhere down there it'll say click yeah to go to top of page and they say click here only the words click here you must go to the bookmark called top click here right click hyperlink bookmark top okay okay let's see if it does control click takes you to the top okay so imagine in here was contact us mm. contact us and in here was the picture they say you want to in from clipboard I'm going to put that in there's your picture and they want this picture to be 100 100 pixels high and you must keep the a uh, aspect ratio you have pixel properties so make it a hundred and keep the aspect ratio and go OK OK so there's that so I've done that and now they want this picture to go to an alternative website um, to another 
website and it must be called underscore space you click on hyperlink go to target frame target frame new windows called space okay and you go okay okay and there you go and you go close okay now they want contact us to go to an email address you highlight contact us hyperlink it to an email address whatever they give you space at gmail.com okay and there is it they want you to put a subject in there spaceship put it in there take a screenshot of this if they ask you to put it in your evidence and there you go there's your contact let's see if it works how do we see if it works we can split it highlight it and there it is contact us and there it's telling you where's again subject it's got your subject line space and just so there's everything okay so that's basically that all the different hyperlinks you know I've taught you all the different hyperlinks now it comes to the code you need to print the code how do you print it you go to file page setup put your name center number and student number in there and click OK you click OK you go file print preview there's your name can you see it it's all there you go close file print okay once you've done that you open your, your cascading style sheet and you print your cascading style sheet as well okay here's your style sheet link okay now they want you to highlight the picture to make sure that you've made it a hundred pixels you click on the picture and there it is there's the width can you see there so it's on line 20 you take your code that you printed out you take your highlighter pen and you highlight it there you go to the next one contact us highlight contact us it's on line 27 you highlight line 27 go down here click here and you highlight line 44 yeah they might tell you to copy and paste text in you copy and paste text in whatever they tell you you do it in your tables okay so that's just a reminder on how to do tables and how to do different links and how to do a bookmark okay